Hey, what's going on everybody? Thomas here, and this is Buffalo Fanatics. In this video, I am going to be answering the question, Lamar Jackson, best fit for the Buffalo Bills? Stay tuned and find out. So first off, I want to talk about the Tyrod Taylor situation in Buffalo right now. So the Buffalo Bills not plan on cutting Tyrod Taylor. Um, they just want to get rid of him if they can. If they can find a trade partner, they don't mind getting rid of him. However, I think a lot of teams are seeing that and they say, well, you're just going to cut him anyways because no one's going to trade for him. So we'll just wait. We'll play the wait. We'll play your little waiting game, which I think that it's kind of silly on the Buffalo Bills part unless they retain him. Now, Here's the thing, in my own opinion, I don't think Tyrod Taylor has proved he is worthy enough of being an NFL quarterback. Great guy, great locker room guy, amazing leader, however, he lacks when it comes to throwing the ball. As simple as that. He can run good, but we've seen over the last three seasons, he's declined. I mean, it's as simple as that. He has declined, especially in touchdowns. So where does that leave us exactly? It leaves the Bills wanting to either cut him for absolutely nothing or possibly trade him for peanuts. Now, in my own opinion, if the Buffalo Bills were to retain Tyrod Taylor, I could see Lamar Jackson being a great fit for Buffalo. I know so many people are going to cringe when they hear that. They're going to say, man, you got the ammo to trade up to, to get Rosen, to get Darnold, to get Mayfield, hell, even Allen. I mean, you got all these guys who the scouts are saying, hey man, these guys, these guys are the, they're the real deal. But they're leaving out Lamar Jackson, the former Heisman winner. I mean, yeah, there's not been a very, very good track record of players that win the Heisman that go on to be huge NFL stars. But Lamar Jackson almost won the Heisman two years in a row, which is very impressive. So Lamar Jackson is 21 years old. He's 6'3", 212. So as you can see, he's about two inches taller than Tyrod, and he's younger. He's, a, he's seven years younger than Tyrod. And I think that having a mobile quarterback already on your team that you're looking to get rid of, if you just retain him, I mean, he made the playoffs. I mean, we can't hate on Tyrod so much and say he's such a garbage, because he's really not. I mean, he does have problems throwing the ball for 300, 400 yards a game. It never happens. He always throws for 100 to 200 yards. 250 yards in that range but you can't necessarily hate that especially if he's taking care of the ball in my own opinion like I said I don't like Tyrod Taylor I just I don't I, I've, I've seen him um, over the course of three seasons being a Bills fan and I just don't some Bills fans think otherwise they think that the Buffalo Bills should keep him and he should be the starter I mean they're like hell I mean we made the playoffs like why get rid of him right in my own opinion, I think that Lamar Jackson kind of reminds me of how Tyrod runs, how Michael Vick runs, Cam Newton kind of, you know, with how elusive they are and how they can avoid hits. And I think that if the Buffalo Bills do not want to trade up to go get their guy, this is if they do not want to go trade up and get a guy and they say, you know what, we can still get a guy like Rudolph or, or um, Jackson or maybe even Allen or depending on who falls. I mean, it's all speculation. Let's just be honest real quick. All the quarterbacks in this draft, they're all just names. Oh, we don't know what they can do. It's not like they've proven anything. Yeah, they had a great collegiate career, but how do you know that's going to transfer to the NFL? I mean, it's a step up. You know how better the NFL defenses are than the, than the collegiate ones? So, man, I mean, you just never know. But in my own opinion, I think that Lamar Jackson is a good fit, especially if the Buffalo Bills keep Tyrod Taylor. Because Tyrod Taylor is 28, going to be 29, and I think that he makes a lot of sense to keep, if you're gonna keep him, if you can't find a trade partner, it makes sense that if you wanna stay put in the draft, you don't wanna trade up, you say we got a lot of room to build, then go get a guy, keep your quarterback right now to mentor him, and go get a few guys in free agency, fill holes, and if the Buffalo Bills can make Lamar Jackson work out, you got a team, man. I mean, think about it, get another wide receiver, get another running back behind Shady, fill that right guard if if um, if um John Miller can't do it, fill that right that right tackle if, if Mills isn't the guy, how about Ryan Groy might have to go get a center depending on if he's good or not, you know, we don't know. Maybe the Bills see something in Ryan Groy and they say, okay, you're going to be our starter. I mean, you just never know. 
A lot of people are talking about the Buffalo Bills trading up, but we don't talk about if they stay put. I mean, we think that as as Bills fans, we hear so much speculation and so much discussion and so much talk about the Buffalo Bills trading up, but do we really know what they want to do? I mean, they could say, we love Darnold, we love Allen, we love Rosen, we love Mayfield. They could say all that stuff and just say, what can, what, what, what can we get for them or, or something? And they just explore trades, but then they're like, you know what, at the end of the day, I'm fine with Lamar Jackson. And I think as Bills fans, we got to trust the process. That's what it's all about. Trust the process. That's what it's all about. And I think at the end of the day, we've seen Sammy Watkins go, Ronald Darby go, guys who we thought were good. We saw Marcel Darius see ya. I mean, we don't even need you anymore. We used to make the playoffs without you. I mean, you know, trust the process. And I think that when Bills fans actually realize that McBean is actually for real and they're not they're not messing around they're actually trying to win they're all about winning now winning later and i think that this might be the best move it all depends on what they want to do of course i would not be mad if they stay put or if they go up and get a quarterback now lamar jackson's passing stats are very very nice i mean 1086 attempts 619 completions 57 completion percentage 9043 yards 8.3 yards per attempt 69 passing touchdowns, 29 interceptions, and a passer rating of 142.9. I mean, if you ask me, those are some nice stats. And people want to talk about him being a wide receiver? I mean, really? Really? I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure. I mean, he admit, the, the boy can throw. The boy can throw, for sure. And especially, Lamar Jackson's rushing stats are, are very nice. Very nice as well. 655 attempts for 4,132 yards. 6.3 yards per attempt and 50 rushing touchdowns 69 passing touchdowns and 50 rushing touchdowns i mean man what a playmaker what a playmaker so i've listed a few pros about lamar jackson so lamar jackson can make big plays in both the run and the pass game and he's developed as a passer over his college career when he came into the league he really he was good but he's definitely improved as a passer, which is very, very noticeable, as you can see in his sophomore and junior year, if you look at the stats. So I've watched some film on him, and I can honestly say that he can read defenses pretty well for a college quarterback, and it's very obvious. He's got an incredible option. I mean, when he, when he gets into the open field, he is a scary, scary man. I mean, he looks like Tyrod Taylor in 2015 and like Michael Vick and Cam Newton and it's just crazy. I mean, he just, he can run very, very well. And another thing great about him is he also avoids big hits. So he's very elusive. And another thing is he's got a lot of upside. I think he's got one of the biggest upsides coming out of this year's draft. And I think that um, he might even have a bigger upside than Baker Mayfield, um, if you ask me. Now there are some cons with him um, like every other quarterback in this draft. So he's got inconsistency and accuracy problems and it's been very apparent that he's missed open targets but even guys like Derek Carr and Cam Newton, they sometimes miss those easy throws. They, like, they, just, they just throw it and it's, it's off. And I feel like you know that can be worked on though. Short passes can be worked on. It just takes practice. Practice makes perfect. Another thing that concerns me is he does run a lot. And for a quarterback in the NFL, running a lot can be very, very scary considering how defenses can kind of stop you there. I mean, the level of intensity that defense changes from college to NFL is pretty big. I mean, if you look at some of these college games, I mean, some of the games can get up to like 70, 80 points, depending on who's playing. And in the NFL, to, to get that many points, I mean, get up to even 50 points in the NFL is, is, is kind of hard to do. I mean, you got to have a solid scoring game for that to even happen. And so, you know, it just shows that defenses in college are a lot easier to take advantage of than the NFL. So that worries me about how much he runs. I'm not necessarily certain that with him coming into the NFL, I don't know that he will be completely ready for it. Now, I think, like I said, he does have great upside and I think he can really make an impact if he is in the right system with the right players. Um, and he's a big playmaker. So I think that if the Buffalo Bills actually end up keeping Tyrod Taylor and they don't cut him or trade him and they just keep him on the roster and pay him, um, I could really see the Buffalo Bills doing this. The reason being, 
Um, I think that Lamar Jackson is kind of like, you know, I mean, he, it's very similar to Tyrod Taylor's style, like how he likes to run, he's kind of very elusive, he's good with his feet, he can avoid defenders, he's very good in that regard. But I think that it makes a lot of sense for the Buffalo Bills if they're like, this quarterback class is stacked, we can still get our guy at 21, no problem. And I know a lot of people, a lot of Bills fans will look at this and say, I don't want a repeat of Tyrod Taylor. I understand. But this makes sense. McBean is very methodical. They want to make the right moves to win today and win tomorrow. Tyrod Taylor did break the drought. I could see the Buffalo Bills doing this, and then Tyrod Taylor starts eight games, and they say, well, depending if they go four and four or something, you say, oh, you're not cutting it. You're just not. Bench him and Lamar Jackson and see what he does. I mean, why, could, why can't he be Deshaun Watson? Imagine if Rosen and Darnold were not in this draft. Let's say they were both sophomores this year, right? And they weren't in this draft. Where would you rank Lamar Jackson? Would, would Baker Mayfield be number one? Would Josh Allen be number one? Would he be no, the number three quarterback in this draft? Possible two-time Heisman winner. I mean, you look at that and you say, he's a first rounder, no, no brainer. He's a first rounder, no brainer. So ask yourself, is this really that hard to believe that this could happen? Because I certainly don't think so. I think that this could happen, and we'd be looking at Lamar Jackson, number eight, for the Buffalo Bills. I think it could happen. And I think he wants to show people he's not a wide receiver. Sure, he might run like one, have moves like one, but he ain't no wide receiver. He's only going to go up from here. And I think in the right system, with the right wide receivers, Buffalo Bills, go get yourself another running back. Go get yourself another wide receiver. Improve the offensive line. Bring Lamar Jackson to Buffalo. Have Tyrod Taylor as your mentor. I think that could work. I think we could be looking at a Lamar Jackson in the Buffalo Bills uniform next year. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please go leave a like down below. Comment your opinions. Let me know exactly what you guys think about this. Um, I know a lot of you guys are probably going to be mad at me. <laughs> I know a lot of you guys are probably going to be mad at me. You're going to be like, what are you talking about? No, we're going to go get Rosen. We're going to go get Darnold. We're going to go get Allen. We're going to go get Baker Mayfield, whoever you guys think. Let me know who you guys think. Let me know who you guys want in the comments. Who? I mean, like, just say the name. Just say the name of the quarterback that you guys want. And uh, let's see exactly what the, what the, what the Buffalo fanatics uh, people want um, in Buffalo next year. I, I want to see what you guys think. And um, if you haven't already, please go subscribe to the channel for more amazing content. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!